What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Tuesday morning. I'm doing good myself. You understand? Uh, let me just say, before we get into this story, if you ain't sleep, I hope you ain't just already ate. Because what you are ready to see is about to turn your stomach. You understand? It's about this church in Virginia with these sick ass people. You understand? Having church butt naked. Check this video out and then I'll get into my commentary. This is a congregation that often worships the same way God brought them into the world, unadorned and unashamedly naked. This, however, is February. So on this particular Sunday morning, parishioners are in various states of undress. Some nude, some fully clothed, others topless. He chose to have faith in God. But it's not about the clothes or lack thereof. Stand up on your feet. Pastor Alan Parker is here to bear his soul to Christ Damn. and lead his flock down the path of righteousness no matter what they have on. He told them all he could tell them. He showed them what they could be shown. Every Sunday in the front few rows of Whitetail Chapel, sure. you'll find Katie and Robert Church. Katie wasn't a nudist when they first met, but quickly fell in love with both Robert and this resort. They married here and now have their own weekend getaway on premises. This church has given them a sense of Christian community, and they say with none of the pretense of a traditional church. Christian. Once we were married and we were here, this whole place became our family. I mean, I feel like I can turn to anyone in this church or even in this park, and they will be there to help me. People are more open as far as hearing the Word of God and listening to the preacher speaking the Word of God. I have a dream, too. If you think anyone here finds church attendance titillating, you'd be wrong. They're here to find inner peace, and Pastor Parker believes that starts with accepting themselves. There's not a feeling that you have to be better than one another physically. We're humans. We have scars. We have um, we have what we have. Uh, and and it's, it's learning to love and accept that. There are people that have great means, great wealth, and there's people that don't. But you wouldn't know. And everybody treats everybody you know, equally. That was some sick shit. I'm going to tell you all right now, the most high even down with this kind of thing right here. I'm going to tell you that right now. White Tail Chapel, pun intended. You know, it's nothing too bad that these people right here, if you can call them people, won't do. And that's even to be smudge, you know, the, 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 the word of the most high himself. You understand where they would actually develop a congregation and bring their snaking asses in, in it and call it a church and bring the word of the Most High in the Bible in there and defile it just by it being around a naked, nasty looking asses. That dude looked like a giant skinned ass possum. They look awful. I'm going to put this out here. For all of y'all that, you know, I don't know what kind of, you know, churches y'all belong to, but I hope I'm going to come out and say it. There ain't no white church because ain't nothing too bad that these people ain't doing in these churches. I know black folks do, do some messed up shit too. You understand? And I know it ain't going to be long before, you know, if this shit continues right here, black folks, it's going to be some black people doing the same shit because that's the way it always is. See, Easter was inspired by this kind of debauchery in church. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. A long time ago where they would have, you know, the congregation meet on a Sunday and then they would go out, you know, in the woods. You understand this quick like a bunny thing. You understand and have sexual orgies. You understand and worship the fertility goddess. Or well, fertility god or something like that. Easter. That's what it's based off of. Easter eggs and all that old kind of stuff. Yeah. That's what they did. 
I don't even think a rabbit even lay eggs. Chickens do that. These people are disgusting. Subhumans. I'm going to just say that subhumans. These subhumans are disgusting. Let's get into the story. In a church in Ivor, Virginia, clothing is optional. Well, option for everyone with the pastor to the congregation. Members in the church worship in the new taking the statement. Come as you are. Very literal. And then y'all saw the video. Y'all saw that dude over there. <laughs> He's sitting up there with all his clothes on. But look what you sitting around. Just the fact that you in there it don't make no difference because you got your clothes on. You sitting around a bunch of nasty, naked ass people. Subhumans, I mean. So what does that say for you still? Myself? I'm not going in no damn church or anywhere else with a bunch of naked ass people. This shit is sick. But to continue, people who attend Whitetail Chapel <laughs> don't have to worry about finding something to wear on Sunday services. Pastor Alan, Alan Parker defends that God doesn't care if the believers wear clothes while they pray to him. If God made us that way, why can that be wrong? Says the pastor, according to the rundown, members of the church also explains it was nothing to do with being sexual, but being free from what's that? Societal. Yeah. Societal judgments. Listen to this shit. Y'all notice how they always come up with these little words to excuse a debauchery. Sick. There is no pressure to be anything other than who you are, says one of the congregants. You can be that with your clothes on. What's wrong with that? The White Tail Chapel is part of the White Tail News Resort. Sick, sick, sick. Yeah, y'all, you I'm gonna tell you this. Just watch who you congregating with. You know, watch who you going to church with. You understand what I mean? Because these people will lead your ass straight to hell if you ain't careful. Most I ain't down with this. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. About these hub subhumans with they nasty asses sitting up in here talking about they worshiping God. I don't know what, you know, God, you know, that they're worshiping. It ain't the most high. I know that. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. And always remember to live your life like you are being watched. This is James and I'm out. Peace.